Hey guys, it's Noct here. Uh, I decided to remake and hopefully make uh, better tutorial videos on how to make unit sprites and stuff if you want to help me out with my games. Uh, I'm sorry for the background static. This mic, the tabletop one, I was not able to use the new one because it wasn't compatible with my computer, but I guess you guys are just going to have to suffer through it if you want to learn. Uh, I'm going to be going through pretty much basic stuff in this one, basically programs and stuff like that. Nothing really unit makey yet, but I should release another video when I upload this one after this one, like right away, because that one will have more content than I think I should, because that's what I did with the first two. But let's jump right into it. First, I'm going to talk about uh, programs that you would use. Now, the big one would be MS Paint. Uh, this comes with Microsoft computers. I'm not sure about Mac. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't. Um, if, I don't know if you can download it from online, but like any version works. Uh, you don't really want them like the really new ones because they have some weird fucking things in them or whatever. Uh, and then you can go to uh, paint.net. Uh, I don't use paint.net because it broke with my computer, but I never really used it because I thought it wasn't... To me, it wasn't as user-friendly as MS Paint, where I think it had better shortcuts. It just it felt weird. And then, uh, this one I use mainly for removing background, because that's what I used paint.net for, but I lost that. Uh, it's called Krita, and uh, yeah, it's kind of handy. I like it to switch colors and stuff like that for flags, but mainly it's just to make things transparent. And I'll just quickly go over tools. They're pretty straightforward. Uh, let me just go over here. Main tool you're probably going to want to use is the is the um, pencil tool. At, like the smallest pixel, you can see you know you have small pixels. Um, crop tool is something we want. Freeform selection you don't really need, but the rectangular select. Uh, lines. Uh, I don't really use shapes. Sometimes I do if I'm making like vehicles and stuff, but generally I don't. Uh, I don't use really much of these brushes. I mean, there's a spray paint you can use for something, but probably not. And someone messaged me, but I'm not going to look at that. Uh, yeah, that's pretty straightforward. There really isn't much here with paint. Uh, what do I have next? Save file types. Um, now, I don't know quite... Some programs can't set them, but you generally want to save your, 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 uh, your, your things that you save, your documents, as PNG. Don't use JPEG. Uh, because it makes things more blurry, and Roblox doesn't really like JPEGs, so I recommend not doing that. I don't know of any others, just don't just don't use JPEG. JPEG is the worst. That's why some of my uh, earlier Road to War stuff looked like looked, looked like AIDS, because it was JPEG is the shit. Uh, what else is there? I didn't look. Websites. Now this one's a big one. Uh, I didn't have them bookmarked. My bad. First one is Junior General. Uh, this one has things from uh, ancients you can see here all the way to modern day and sci-fi. Uh, Masters is basically like a bunch of like tools and poses and stuff you can use. Uh, this one is kind of outdated. I mean, people have been adding new stuff, but generally not. The newer one is Pixel Marshals. However, you need a login to be able to access this, but eh, but it's pretty good. And there's like uh, it's like forum kind of stuff, but it's not that hard to navigate. You just open it, and then you just look through, and then you'll find things that are here and whatnot. Um, and then this one, a ship bucket. They used to have... Uh, actually, I want to see if it does, actually. Give me a moment. Uh, doesn't look like they do. A uh, ship bucket, uh, the old version, used to have uh, planes and stuff. But they removed it. Oh, my, wow, my mouse is spazzing out. But they used to have that, but they don't have any more. So it's just ships, but there's, like, real designs and never-built designs. It's got, like, pretty much all the countries. Uh, sure, there'll be some that are missing. Uh, but they mainly have things from, like, I think 1800s to, to modern day. I think they also have wood ships, but not for majority of them. And then the best one is DeviantArt. And you can do the subheading Junior General or Ship Bucket, and you can find loads of things on here. You usually have to navigate through the artists to find stuff, but it's not really that hard to do. Uh, that's pretty much it for websites. Like, it's pretty straightforward. It's just those few ones. Uh, do note, though, if you make stuff um, and you want to add it to my game, let me know what sites you use it from so I can give credit, because I don't want people, like, coming 
at me and saying, or, or, even if for your own games, give give credit to the sites. You don't have to give credits to each individual artist because you could probably be using a whole bunch of artists' work and stuff like that. So, yeah. And disclaimers. Now, this one's going to be a short one, but as you can see here, uh, some of this stuff is not mine. Uh, I generally take things and repurpose it or recolor it. There are things that I make completely on my own, such as like some of the some of the Jedi and Sith for like uh, Universe at War, but there are some things where I don't make of my own, mainly vehicles too. But I'm really good at Frankensteining pieces where I like take parts and I just smash them together. But whatever. I mean, like to me, I think that's the easiest way to do this. I know it's lazy, but I think that's uh, I, th I think it's just much easier and not so time-consuming. But yeah, that's it for this video. So uh, stay tuned for the next one.